got theme music. Every good hero. Let's have some. That's right, everyone. The hero is back. This is Tim on the Online Big Blue. Bring you the best in New York Jets. Let's talk entertainment. The reports of my demise have been greatly exaggerated. I'm feeling better. COVID going out the door, I hope. Hopefully we don't see it for another 19 months like I didn't see the last, last version of it. Or variant, whatever the hell it's called. Got a lot to talk about today. We got the Chiefs, we got the Giants this evening. It'll be an interesting game at Arrowhead Stadium. We're going to run through the injury report first. I want to talk about a couple other things. So let's take a look at the Chiefs for right now. Uh, looks like Chandler Jones is in. Sand, uh, so what's his name? Sanders, the defensive tackle there is, is out. Uh, Hitchens, the linebacker, is out with the tricep injury. Everyone else looks like they're either questionable or a full ready to go. Mike Remmers is also questionable, but looks like he is ready to go. Both Chris Jones and uh, the, ba- the Honey Badger, they were at full participants, full participants on practice on Saturday. So they all look like they are ready to rock and roll. On the Giants' sideline, we still have Saquon Barkley. I, I didn't think he was coming back at least until the Raiders game. Canarius Tony is questionable. We have uh, Kenny Smooth Sounds of Kenny G's will be sitting out. Lorenzo Carr will be out as well. Oh, my God. Nate Ebner's out. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, guys. I, I just have to, I have to compose myself a moment because Nate Ebner's out. I didn't even know he had an ankle injury. Oh, this, how, 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 are, how, how in the world is the special teams and how in the world is, is the Gatorade fillers going to be able to deal with the loss of this? Evan Ingram was eliminated practice on Saturday. Sterling Shepard is questionable coming back. Danny Shelton looks like he is uh, eliminated practice as well. We didn't miss him very much. Caden Smith is a questionable with a knee, and uh, Carter Coughlin is out. Evidently, he fell off the bench and got hurt because that's the only way I can figure he got hurt because he never gets he never gets on the field. For a guy that came in with such hope and circumstance for the Giants this season, why Patrick Graham is not using him, I have no clue. Um, I wanted to talk about the Giants and the keys to this victory. Uh, key, oh, I called it a key to the victory. You're going to have to find out today at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to be doing a stream. Why? Why not? I'm feeling better. Got to kind of get into the swing of things. Um, things we need to look at right away. O'Shane Zimenez replacing Lorenzo Carter. <sighs> that's, that's like replacing bad with bad. They, they have zero sacks combined. And no pass rush from the edge. People are going to talk about the one play against Carolina for O'Shane and go, oh, my God, he was crazy. He's great. He's, 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 he's great. You would hope Quincy would come in a little bit more for Lorenzo, seeing an, an increased playing time. He played 23 snaps last week over the win over the Panthers. He had three tackles, and he actually had one for a loss. i like to see him get a little bit more playing time as well. I mean, it's it's it's... We're not really replacing anything with anything that needs to be replaced because we weren't getting any production out of that end of the... We're not getting any production out of the edges anyway, so what does it really matter? I was going back and watching some of the games for the Chiefs because I record all the games, and I keep them on the DVR, which is crazy because we got like something like 9,000 hours on the DVR. I think I've already filled up half of that. And it's going to be interesting for the Giants because as bad as the Chiefs have looked at times, and yes, they turn over the ball exponentially recently. I think the issue is with the Chiefs is most teams are just going back and, and doing a cursory look at the film. Most guys are just, most teams are playing just two, two deep safeties. They're keeping everything in front of them and they're not allowing the Chiefs to beat them deep. They're trying to take away the big play from Kansas City. And honestly, it's, it's been working because Mahomes uncharacteristically if you watch some of the film, is is still trying to force some of these throws. Now, I find it interesting that they're still averaging 27 points a game, but the defense is giving up 29 points a game. And they do not, and they do not stop the run well or even stop the pass effectively, the Chiefs. So, I mean, that's going to be interesting. I said this before. I could see this game actually being a shootout, as, as crazy as that sounds. I could see this game being like 35-31. Because I don't think the Giants defense is going to be able to keep up. And I don't think I and I'm not thinking that the the loss of Peppers is going to be so greatly missed because he's not really a coverage guy. McKinney's more of a coverage guy. And then you're going to put more of um 
Darnay Holmes, and, and you're going to throw Julian Love more in that, in that cover safety position. But I think it's the same thing. You, I think the Giants are going to try to do this, this follow the same pattern. Two, two safeties deep, keep everything in front of them, force the tempo, and hope that the Chiefs make the big mistake. Now, I, I have some fear and trepidation about this game because, like I said, if you go back into the laws of Giant history, this is what they would refer to as a get-right game for the Chiefs. Coming up against the Giants, who are, who are somewhat down in reference to, not defensively in regards to players, but defensively in regards to play. We give up too many big play opportunities. We have too many blown coverages still. Too many mix up in this, too many mix ups in the secondary. And I think that the Chiefs receiving core is being overlooked outside of Tariq Hill. And, and I worried, I, wor- I, I, I told this to Giant fans before, you know, especially in the Denver game, I said, don't overlook these receivers. And I'm going to tell you right now, do not overlook the recurrent receivers outside of Tariq Hill as well. Because they have the opportunity to go to go big. Now the question is going to be: Can we force Patrick Mahomes into making these mistakes? And I think that's going to be the key. If Mahomes is patient, and he probably will be patient, because I'm not going to see much of a pass rush coming out of here. If he's patient, he's going to be able to find the open holes in our defense. And that's not a slight against the defense. He's just Patrick Mahomes. He's a franchise quarterback like we want Daniel Jones to be. Who the hell saw Cooper Rush throw for over 300 yards and beat the Vikings in Minnesota? I love it because Cooper Rush throws for two touchdowns, interception over 300 yards. And people are like, it's a fluke. Daniel Jones throws for 200 yards on 33, on 33 attempts and, and one touchdown. And he's, he's the Messiah. So is Cooper Rush a Hall of Famer? throwing that out there. <laughs> so it must be feeling bad. My voice isn't back yet, but I still have the nice melonious sounds. Oh, and for all the idiot giant fans that are celebrating Cox, potentially tearing his ACL, you're idiots. Unsubscribe to this channel. Because you don't cheer when someone gets hurt. He posted, he, he, he didn't even create the thing that he posted. He reposted something that someone else created. He didn't say anything else. And then you're going to cheer because a kid probably tore his ACL and is out for a year. You're, it, for all the Giant fans that are doing that, you are Bush League Giant fans. Please unsubscribe to this channel immediately because you're too fucking stupid to watch or listen. Because that's not what we do as Giant fans. You don't cheer when another player gets hurt. Daniel Jones didn't even miss a game. This kid could miss the season. He's going to miss the season. And then I have to see shit like that on Twitter. People being, celebrat- being celebratory that he got hurt. Bush League fans, and this is why Giant fans get black eyes. This is another black eye for Giant fans. And not all Giant fans. It's a very small segment of Giant fans. But it, it, just, it just aggravates the hell out of me. We're going to talk more about this in the trade deadline. Of course, uh, we're going to do a 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time stream. We're going to go 6.30 to 7. And then, of course, we got the Giant game on. I don't know if I'm going to do a stream after the game. It really depends on how I feel. We'll have to take a look from there, but we're going to talk a little bit more about this game, a little bit more about what's going on, a little bit more about how the Giants could potentially, we're going to get, try to give away the Super Bowl rings and the Daniel Jones Cool Rush jersey when playing Guess the Score. And again, this is my theme music. Every good hero should have some. Thanks for listening to Tim with Online Big Blue, bringing you the best in your Giant Sports Talk and Entertainment. And as always, like, subscribe, ring that bell, you know what that means? That'd be awesome.